Hi, Rod here. Today I'm going to do a tutorial uh, with regard to support module, whereby the support module are being given to the player based on reward by completing objective. So, uh, as per normal, place your unit, name it player one. Okay. So. Assuming this is a mission whereby first you have to destroy an uh, enemy radar. After that, uh, we will grant you HQ will grant you the access to the support module whereby you can call in a CAS on enemy uh, anti-air position. Okay, so I'm gonna name it as radar one. The trigger is player one link to HQ link to CS call BS function at support link. So condition is alive radar one. Once the uh, system check that the radar is destroyed, so a player one will be linked to these two model. Next, you have to place the model. Go to system go to support requester name it as HQ alright in this case I'm gonna limit the uh, CS bombing run to 1 ok next place the uh, in this mission we we'll use uh, support provider CS bombing run virtual because I want to customize whereby you use certain jet or certain UAV to do the bombing run. Okay. When you open this module, you see that vehicle type is empty. If empty, by default, you have access to all three, I think, four jets for you to select. But in this case, I want to limit to only one type of jet. So in this case, I like to choose the FA181. So I'll place this FA one one on here. The reason I place it on the editor is I want I need to find the class name. So right click on it, find asset in browser, so you have the class name. Okay, copy, delete the uh, unit, and then open this bombing run virtual support provider module. So delete this class the actual name is actually B underscore plane fighter 01 F so when you do this actually you limit that you only have option to F18 to do the bombing run so we name it this so we name the uh, model as TAS Assuming if your target is in this area, I mean the target that you want to bomb, you need to place the model a bit far so that it has time to adjust its elevation and when you lace the target with the laser designator. So. Right. Next, place a module Intel, create task group of synchronized object group 4 task id is task 1 title destroy radar ok synchronized object I will use destroy so I'll synchronize this to the object Okay, once the object is destroyed, you have to set the task state to succeed it. So link the trigger back to this task state, task state link back to the create task model. So we are done for mission 1. Alright. Then here, you add objective 1 equal to true. 
next let's place the anti-air uh, for the sake of the mission I uh, will place an empty unit go to turrets go to S750 alternate to place an empty unit so you can uh, place it well, however you want it so I will do it this way so I will place a few units as a prop urban uh, maybe yes engineer engineer will be patrolling or guarding this anti-air so I place an empty car maybe an arm so I'll name it as anti-air AA next you place a trigger this condition will check if the anti is alive alive anti air objective 2 equal to true I will place a intel sorry create task blue 4 this is task 2 destroy AA okay, synchronous object set the state as succeeded so link the trigger to the module accordingly so finally we have a last trigger uh, actually we can place it anywhere we want uh, activation oh sorry type is n condition is objective 1 and objective 2 is satisfied so the game end in 5 seconds okay so let's check is everything in place so go back to 2d editor Alright, let's run the scenario. Oh, before I forgot, we haven't named our player as play one. Oh, in fact, we already named it as play one. Good. Okay. Let's run the scenario. Okay, now we have two objectives. First is to destroy the radar. Then next, we have to destroy the anti air. So let's first destroy the radar. We go as further as we can because explosive satchel, uh, the damage or the blast radius is fairly big. available for tasking ok with the radar is down let's proceed to destroy the anti-air so fast travel here on the radar so you can activate the uh, laser data data by pressing left click so you can call the support now by pressing 0 8 1 as you can see we already customized so that only FA181 black wops is available for bombing run so 
So call laser guided bomb. Requesting immediate airstrike at the transmitted coordinates. Over. Copy that. Strike aircraft on the way. Out. Okay, strike aircraft on the way. So the final objective is to destroy the anti-air. So right now we just sit down and enjoy the firework. So I hope uh, with this tutorial you can create your own mission. Uh, thank you.